everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Son's Real Tech Mod Pack. So I would like to do a few things today. I've got them on my board at the back there. Let's go and have a look at that first of all. So that's all that we've got on this list. Water wheel build. I'm going to start with that one I think. As you can see over here I have got the water wheel prepared or some stuff prepared for the water wheel. So this structure is going to be a uh, it's actually set, it's nine by five by seven high. That's its the goal of this particular thing. And at the back here, I've got two rows of blocks of three by three. At the front, I've got one row of blocks, which is three. And then in the middle here, I've got the um, kinetic dynamo. We've done that before, so I'm not bothering to to get that right. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put in here. I'm going to turn this round first of all because it's not quite right. So let's just turn this round. I think the hole's got to be this side, so it's got to go around three times. There we go. So we can then put the water wheels onto that. So I'm going to put the water wheels onto that. You start with this side, of course, like that. So that fills up this area quite nicely, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some... I think I've got that wrong, because it looks like those are touching that block. I maybe have to move it back a bit. I'm not 100% sure. I thought it was three down from the outside. <laughs> we'll see. So what I've got to do down here is I've got to put some water. So let's get some um, buckets out. I've got two buckets. Actually, I'll just use one bucket for now because I created an infinite water supply just behind us there. So what you've got to do here is you've got to put water down on this bit. So you've got to put on the... on the. There's two stones here. I'm going to put it on the back stone come up and then I'll go and get some more and do the next one if I can those. So I'll come and do, I'll do this, I'll do some of it now and then I'll do the rest of it off camera. And so the next one was this middle one like that and you can see the actual water wheel is already moving. So I might be all right. And the third one. So maybe it's not blocking. And the third one goes here. Actually, it should be pushing the other wheel the other way around. I don't actually understand why it's going this way. <laughs> oh, no, that's actually correct. Yes, that is correct. It is going that way. Okay. Right, I'll fill in the rest of this and come back when I've got done a little bit more. Now, the next bit is to put water down onto these. So I just need to get some more water, I think. Oh, I forgot to pick that up. I should have picked it up. So we need to put P3 buckets of water on onto the walls beside this. In fact, actually, have I got a second bucket with me? No, I didn't bring one. I really needed three buckets. That was a mistake. But I'm not going to go back and get three, another two now. Oh, another one. So what you do with this is you put the water on this wall here behind that. We'll do that. And I'll come, as you can see, it's, <laughs> it's running everywhere, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. I haven't quite filled up enough bits and pieces, have I? Right. Woo. Right. I'll be back in a minute. Well, that was unfortunate. I just needed to be one more block, and then the water wouldn't have come out of the side here. But as you can see, you put three butts of water on here, and then it goes, it, the wheel starts to turn it slightly faster. Now, the last one is we're going to put more, more water, but we're going to put it on this face here of this so i'm going to build the the rest of this up now and i'll come back when i get ready to put the water in so now i've got the structure built as you can see it's all around here seven blocks high so what we now do is put the, i did get some more buckets between <laughs> between cuts um and i'll put those on here like that and basically you put these on here and then the water will go sort of max speed and it's going fairly fast so now you can't put ladders on glass unfortunately <laughs> so i had to create some scaffolding here but i always find it difficult to get off scaffolding let's just go back and then forward oh i did it that time wow. without batting and falling see that's going fairly fast now and you can hear it's making some good noises Oops. <laughs> and i'm having difficulty getting to the point here so this is where the um dynamo is so we need to connect that dynamo so let's have a look. In here, I've basically I've given these the building components that I've been using, which were those. So I used basically glass, so you can see what it is. 
that was the only reason for using glass. So now we just need a connector and some cables. So we've got cables here, and that'll do fine. We'll take this just in case, and maybe one of these, and a connector. That's an MV wire connector. Have I got a low voltage one? Yes, I have good. Because that's still low voltage, I think. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you, where it cuts across. I have to look at, do some research and check, or read the book even. Now I need to get up there to put the cable in. <laughs> That's going to be awkward, isn't it? How am I going to do that? I have an idea. Let's just try it with these. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Good. Right, good. So I can actually reach up here. So I can then put the connector on here, and then I can shift right click this. So we're, then it's connected to this one. Oh, it says in Oh, of course that was right, because it was already programmed. I couldn't clear it somehow or other. So I wonder if we can connect it to over here. Maybe I have to make a pillar. Anyway, I don't need to. I don't need to worry about going down these ones. I can use do that fairly easily. So we can just break these. Am I using the right tool? So <laughs> oh no, I'm not using the axe. I want the axe. So we should be able to put a pillar up here somewhere. I'm just wondering where to put it to be honest with you. Let's put one down. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> Let's put one down here for instance. Wooden post. Now are we still in range with this cable? Yes we are, great. So I just need to get to the top of this wooden post. And we can do that as well. We'll use the um, the wooden tree, treated wood scaffolding. You can actually climb up the post, but I always find it a bit dangerous. I can't jump. Why can't I jump? I can now. So I can put a relay on top of this, and I didn't bring a relay. Brilliant. <laughs> right, let's just jump down that. That was a good that time. I did got that one right. So we just get a relay, and then we'll put the relay on, and we'll see how. I don't know how at the moment to measure the voltage. I think there is something in uh, immersive engineering to do to measure voltages. I think they've got a meter of some description. I'll have a look at that. But going up, this is fairly straightforward. So we should be able to put the relay on top of that and then connect this wire into it like that. So this has now got, it should, does it tell me how much power this has got? No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. So there we go again. Get XP when I take that down, that's pretty neat. So now this is generating power, and it, I don't think the, let's just tell me if I look at this thing. No, it just tells me I've got zero RF, but I, it's definitely producing power. I'm sure of it. Oh, we'll find out. Let's tell you what we'll do. Let's have a look at the recipes for voltage, uh, the voltage capacitor. And put one of those down. I don't think it tells us what we can actually do, but let's, let's have a look at this. Immersive engineering. So I want to look at because there's two different immersive engineering bits and pieces in here. Now, I think there's a meter. This one, an engineer's voltmeter. Right, that's one copper ingot, two sticks, and one. That's not too difficult to do at all. One copper ingot. I think that was two pieces of redstone and two sticks. So let's make let's make one of those. I've not done this, so I don't know whether it's going to work. In fact, those were it could have been they were taken out of here anyway, and so it sticks. So I don't need the sticks, and I probably don't need the redstone either. Let's have a look. No, I don't need the redstone, and I don't need the copper because that got taken out of here as, as well. Put the redstone in there just in case. So now I don't know whether that's going to work. Let's have a look at the LV capacitor in for, that, for that matter as well. So 
So we're missing one copper ingot. Okay. So we can simply craft that straight away. Put this down. So we need another connector for that, which we've got already made, so that shouldn't be a problem. Another LV connector here. Yep, we've gone there, good. And we can put this down and see if we're getting power, the water wheel's producing power, and how much it is producing. That's the idea, anyway. Let's put the capacitor down here. Let's put the connector on top of it. And let's link this. Oh, I need another cable, don't I? Does this actually tell me anything when I've got it in my hand? Energy stored zero flux. Okay, good. That's fairly good. What does this tell me? Nothing. Let's go and have a look at the this thing here. It doesn't tell me anything. Okay, so the voltmeter isn't as useful as I was thinking it's going to be. So let's get past him. So I just need another piece of wire. I tell you what, it's also night time, so I shall come back. And right, I've got my wire, so let's see if we can connect this up and see if it works as hoped. So shift right click that and then connect that to there and then have a look at this. It's getting an RF. What's it getting a rate of? Um, fantastic, it doesn't tell me. <laughs> just tells me the energy stored. 1600. So I don't know what speed this is coming in at. Shame. Did I press shift? Does it tell me if I press shift on here? No. No, it's just not telling me anything that I want to see. <laughs> Shame. Okay, but it's working anyway. So as you can see, we've got power coming in here reasonably fast. So then we can, oops, then we can use that for other things. Go. Oh, right. I've got to find a way to figure out what RF per tick we're getting from these things. There must be there must be a trick. So let's have a look at my clipboard again. So we've done the water wheel build. And uh, next one is the aerometer. I want to look at the aerometer. Um, and the aerometer is basically the one for pollution. It's a bit. I'm doing a few things which is related but not exactly related today. So we don't want the aerometer. And that's this thing from pollutions of the realm so we need a compass what have i got in here so we need two two comparators two redstone repeators so that is actually relatively expensive some wood some sticks what are we missing okay the repeaters on wood okay fine it doesn't matter what wood we use so we've got everything else now i've got these already made somewhere where am i keeping the repeaters and the like probably in this bag over here no this chest yes so two of those and two of those and then we need some pieces of wood which we've got plenty of let's take two of those two oak logs will do fine so let's get this build to last something i probably should have made a long time ago and what's it tell us aerometer so if we write do we have to right click it? Oh no, that just goes that goes into the other hand. So I think and I'm not exactly sure how that's working. Let's press F again, swap it over. I don't know. I think we're in a if we're anyway we're gonna be in a relatively polluted area here, so look. As far as I can see that says we've got no pollution or very little it might be the black lever the one let's go somewhere that we haven't got any pollution oh here we are look got no pollution here at all in this chunk and you can see that the lever on the right hand side just above the yellow bar disappears we come back over here and you can see this one is still very unpolluted but you wouldn't believe it looking at that stuff would you so we're all right so I haven't made this thing, so that's the first time. Let's put that away up there. It doesn't tell me when it's mount anything on. It's got to be in my hand, okay? Let's do the same with this one as well, for that matter. Oh. What happened there? Where did that go to? I yeah, heard it go pop. But I can't see it. Oh, yes, nice and invisible. <laughs> Look at that. Right, okay, I'll put that somewhere else in that case. Yeah, I didn't expect that. And f 
find yeah let's put it in here as we can find it in there probably should put it in the most of engineering cabin let's do that So that's the second thing on the list. Let's have a look at now Tinker's add-ons. This is what I really want to do today. Because I've got two sets prepared here. If we look at for Tinker's add-ons, let's get rid of this. We don't need any of this anymore. We have these. Now, an iron toolkit requires one block of pig iron and some iron face plates. So that's basically 40 pieces of iron plus seven ingots of pig iron. Now pig iron is actually awkward to make. It's actually very easy. What you need is one piece of clay, two pieces of uh, rotting flesh and two, two iron ingots will make two ingots of pig iron. Put those into smelter and everything just works fine. And the, this one we're going to be able to do gold, that's ardite block face plates, that's another, I suppose that's 20 or chunks we've got to get for that and a block of gold we can do that one in that case diamond toolkit we're not going to be able to do because this requires prismarine large plates oh actually can i make a prismarine large plate i've got some prismarine but i haven't got enough i think we've got seven pieces i should try it i should go to the um, go and get some more out of the thing and try that and the last one here is the ender so it's the, an extra modifier the ender toolkit so we should be able to make those, at least two of those. We can make this one, and this is one probably the easiest of the two to make, because it just uses obsidian. Obsidian you can make straight away in the part builder face plates. And the other one was the iron face plate, which we can also do, because I've spent some time doing that, making that up. Um, let me show you the recipe for that, because it's probably easier to see. So you just need two pieces of rotting flesh, one piece of clay, one clay ball, and then you can put it um, two iron ingots and go along here and put them into the into here it doesn't matter what order you put them in they'll all come up now it'll smelt into here quite nicely so that takes a while we'll come back and have a look at that in a short while so now I've got my shuriken and what I want to do is put this thing on it a necrotic bone so if we get the book out let's get the book out the immersive engineering this one we want we'll use the magnetic craft version of it and we'll just change it so what we want is the tinkers add-on materials and new tinkers add-ons so let's open this up so the one we're looking for are modifiers i think so what we've also got is necrotic here so necrotic is basically one bone and they're placing the bone on the of a wither skeleton on a tool gives it nefarious life stealing powers so you heal when damaged so you can add more bones so i think you can add up to three and then to increase the multiple levels but each one of those requires one uh, upgrade level so i think one one will do to start with and i'm not 100 percent sure it's going to work so we'll try it i think the the tinker's contract um shuriken as it is is fine being unbreakable it's basically a very fast weapon oh, i need to add the toolkit on first on let's add a, the let's add this toolkit on so that then gives us one modifier if you look here at the bottom it says 100 percent accuracy unbreakable and here we get the one modifier let's put that in again and put the bone on it now it's got it doesn't tell me oh yes it does tell me on the traits necrotic so that should allow us to heal if we go and attack things now I'm going to find some mobs to go and attack. That shouldn't be too difficult. There's a zombie pigman over there. Let's try him on. <laughs> Let's try it on him. So I've got. I'm basically three and a half hearts down. Oh, I got a whole heart back. That's good. <laughs> then it works just fine as we wanted it to do, which is great. I mean, it's got. That means my going to the nether is even safer than it was before. Whoo. Right, let's get that one ticked off. Night vision goggles. Yes, something I've been dying to do for ages. So I've got these traveler's goggles. We made those last time. Let's go and put this book away over here because we don't need that now. So we need some, to do this, we need some um, 
awkward potion first of all let's go make some more we need basically let's look at the night vision goggles first of all and we can see that so that's that armory armorous construct or mori and we want night vision goggles travelers goggles night vision so we need a potion of night vision a golden carrot and a flint and steel now the potion of night vision is basically one golden carrot with on top of awkward potion will give us night vision for three minutes golden carrot recipe is basically one carrot surrounded by gold nuggets so let's do that first of all so we've got our two golden carrots one we'll use for the awkward potion and the other one we'll use for the other now we've got the brewing stand already set up do that before place some water in here and i've placed some blaze powders in there so we can then pay one awkward potion like that and that'll then convert these three uh one nether wart to being awkward potion while that's doing that so go and have a look at what i've actually done there's a building here that's obviously just in the way especially since i've got number of villages so i've put a, a dark oak wood door on it and then i put nether wart in here so i can then go and ha harvest the nether wart like that there's actually some strange effect i saw when i was doing this last time how many how much do we get eight so i can keep doing that as time goes on now that should have finished by now and it's also night time so i'm gonna have to have another sleep um let's go and check this potion first of all so that's now completed awkward potion no effect so we'll take one of these golden carrots i'll put that in there and while that's doing that see this darkness mod is makes it really dark but i'll have a quick sleep in a minute so let's go and make a flint and steel let's go to this one i should be able to do flint and steel can i do that on this table that's the question no i'm missing a flint okay is that all i'm missing is one flint but you need an undamaged flint and steel of course so we'll do that one again so we've basically got almost everything we need except for the potion so what I'll do is now I'll come back when we've had a sleep right so this should be ready by now it is fantastic we only need one of these and my inventory so far I can't do it let's just dump some of this stuff out of here don't need whatever didn't I didn't have on there so that's probably I can get one of these off can I get one of these off now yes I can I notice I've got some cobblestone in there oh we've got an advancement local brewery fantastic so there we are so we should be able to make the goggles straight away so let's do that now so we've got night vision goggles so we then need to go and put that into our goggles and slot in here so let's go and do that <laughs> lots of armory stuff today well this is the for armor's forge so let's put this into the helmet here like that so we get that <laughs> looks really <laughs> That looks interesting, doesn't it? Let's put that on and see what it looks like. Oh dear, that's horrible. <laughs> I'm not sure whether we can turn the goggles off because generally when you go to the nether, night vision is a bad thing to have. Tell you what, let's go and test it out. There is a place down here that's, I think, is an interesting area to go and have a look at. Let me just tick off this in the list. I'll we'll have a look at season senses as well. Actually, I can have a look at the effect of those now because we're in summer. What I've done is I've built two and I put them in here. So you see this one here is set for summer and it's power is nine. So it tells me the power of this is giving a nice red turn signal. So the climatization is now minus 10. So it brings me down to a nice cool. I also tried to cross another wall and see whether that actually worked. It does. So this is the place I wanted to go and have a visit. Let me just make sure I've got the right armor on, or I'm preparing to get the right armor on. That'll do. I think we're going underground, so that's fine. And it's a strange. Uh, this is something I've never seen before, so I'm, I'm going to show you that. It's down this mine here, and this was the. It was just a mine. It wasn't a mine actually. It was. It was just an area. Oh, it does look dark. Let's have a look. Have I got a control for this one? 
I have to press escape down to options, controls. So if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be under Tinker's Armory, Armory's Construct. Here we go. Helmet G. Let's press G then. Oh yes. And you can turn it off too. How about that? Fantastic. It looks a bit brown. <laughs> no slimes to kill today. Shame. Um, now which way is it? I think it's this way. Um, no, it's not this way, is it? Because that's a dead end. Brilliant. Hold on, I should have marked it. I've got a mark in there, the funny area. I should have gone that way. Which is funny area is this way. Ah, oh, it'll be this way. Now these are mooncap mushrooms from Rustic. We'll take those because actually those are also an important ingredient for some of the rustic recipes you'll have to tell me because it's not very far away this thing what you think this area is where's it gone to funny area I've gone past it it's that way I just come from here haven't I I'm missing it all the time. I don't know where it is. I'll tell you what, I'll come back when I found it. Well, I found it. <laughs> Took quite a long time. So this is the funny area. So why I say it's funny area is because it's got trees down here. And of course it's got moss stone. I don't understand how you've got trees underground in Minecraft. I've never seen that before. Obviously there's some spawner stuff around here because I actually did find a spawner. So if anybody knows what this area is, let me know because I'm just have no idea. Let's go and have a look down here. Maybe we can find a mob. Let's test my shuriken on again. But you see, I've been down here a lot. Uh, in fact, I've been down here because this is where I was actually getting my obsidian from. I was mining up obsidian from in here. And there are some areas like this. where you get quite a few mobs. In fact, I think the yellow bit over there represents darkness. But it's great being able to see, I can tell you that. If I turn it off, it was L, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't L. Oh, that's, that's something I want to have a look at. What was it now? I've forgotten already. Um, was it K? Nope. Okay. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I've done something funny. I hope it's not taking my... Oh, this is really weird. I've definitely not been here before. In fact, I'm not going to come here because it's dark. <laughs> and I, I'm looking at the helmet and it seems to be taking... Is it taking damage? Does it need poly... Does it, does it using the... Uh, it might be using other spider. Let's get that spider. And sure enough, my health has gone up to 100%. Fantastic. All right. I'll see you back at the surface. Right, I got out there. Re safely, no, obviously no damage, which is great. So now the last thing, the season sensors. I want to make one of those again. But they're actually relatively straightforward to make. So I'll craft one of those rather than show you do it as, as a separate thing. this thing basically we need a season sensor so we need a season clock now that's four pieces of nether quartz which we don't need to go to the nether to get in fact I haven't seen any nether quartz in the nether one piece of redstone we can make a clock let's make that clock up like that so now we need three pieces of three slabs which I haven't got Three pieces of glass, is it? I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let's make some slabs up. Put those over there. And let's see if we can make this clock, uh, season sensor. Oh, we need two pieces of nether quartz, which I haven't got. 
think that we got the rest of it. Let's see if we can do this. Like that. From three seasons. Now what this thing does, we'll put it down. Like that. And it starts off at spring. Let's just put down the piece of redstone beside it. Like, doesn't matter where you put them really. And then you right click this. So you look at that, it's obviously got no power. In fact, it tells you there's nothing on here anyway. So you right click it and it goes from there to summer, which we have got. So now we've got a power of 10. So if you can have a look at this season clock here, we've actually just gone past midsummer because that would be the yellow bit in the middle there. So that's tells you that. Next one will be autumn, so it's off. And the last one's winter. What I've done in here. I'll show you this because it's worth seeing. In fact, well, as I'm going past, I'm going to put the these mooncap mushrooms in this chest with my other stuff that I've got from Rustic. But let's look at the uses of that while I'm actually here. So it's the Advanced Alchemy, so we actually make night vision. <laughs> so we, there we are, we could have done it that way as well. And that night vision lasts for eight minutes. And you find that in mines, I think, is what it says. So what I've got here is I've got two sen season sensors one here which is set to winter and this one here is set to summer and as you can see it says a power of 10 so that's turn this on they have to be a separate if you're they're too close I put the first of all put them together when this was on this one was on so that wasn't very much use whatsoever so that's that one i don't need this another one let's remove this as it happens um do i need to get rid of this one and you can see better now this is I put in fresh water in here before didn't I end of the last episode it doesn't freeze during the winter so it's perfectly safe to go fishing you can take your fishing rod you can basically sit, stand here for ages you've got to watch out it's still a bit awkward because in the spring it does get quite cold and especially at night because night will give you a minus I think it was something like as my bow here I've got basically everything on this one now including cuts of vanishing which I could do without as it happens but since I'm in here it doesn't make much difference and you can fish just as well in there and you can basically do it for an hour or so so it's pretty good the last thing I want to check was a thing we made last week or last episode it was this temperature regulator what I was curious about with the temperature regulator it didn't work with the windmill because it wasn't using enough power and I haven't got enough connectors. Oh, what I wonder. No, I can't do that. I've got to make another connector. So I think it's four pieces, isn't it? For this plus copper. I think it's three pieces of copper. I'm not exactly sure. I'll just I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just trust myself and see whether or not I remember it correctly. Yeah, four LV low voltage wire connectors. So I'll put that down and we'll see whether or not this has actually got enough power from the wind bit, from the water wheel to actually run this thing so I'm not exactly sure how much power this needs so let's go and put it down here it doesn't oh 98 RF so we're not going to be able to do, get enough I don't think we'll have to make a second water wheel to power this thing brilliant and they are huge constructions and I forgot the cable didn't I I'll be back in a second well I've connected it Let's have to turn it on. Basically, every time you go through this, requires no redstone signal. It's working. Now, it tells you the power in here as well, so it's actually gaining power. So it does have enough power to work from the water wheel. That's fantastic. And that's because I'm going to be able to run many more machines in this, because it's not going up very fast. But it is working. Anyway, we'll turn that off. We don't need this on. So you can require the redstone signal for that to work. So that means I can put this in the fishing area and you'll always have the right temperature. It won't work under here, of course, because it's a tree. Anyway, so that's it for this episode. I'll stand here and say goodbye in front of the water wheel. So <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode. There's been uh, quite a few cuts in this one. Anyway, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>